our YouTube channel. It's Jessie. And it's Jessica. And this is a well overdue life update and also a twin talk. So this is twin talk episode two. We're basically going to be doing our makeup, getting ready with you guys. And we're just going to talk about what's happening in our lives recently. It's so, been a long time. It's so good to see, see you guys. Yes. We hope you guys are all good. Yeah. But, let, but let's have a little chin wag, shall we? Yeah. So make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. If you haven't checked out our last video, it was our Dubai vlog. Come on, Long guys. awaited. An hour vlog, guys. Do you know how long? That took us to edit. Yes. We love it so much. If you have not watched it, get your dinner. Yes. Put it on the TV and just watch. Because honestly, watch. you will enjoy yourself. Mm. So make sure you guys check that out if you haven't already. It will be linked in the description. But guys, we're so close to 10,000 subscribers. Oh, so please, oh please gosh. help us reach our goal and please click subscribe. It's free. Please subscribe and help us reach 10,000 subscribers. Okay, guys, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm going to put my hair up. Clip my bangs away. Clip your bang. Clip your bang. Guys, I'm getting tired of my bang, to be What's, honest. What aren't you enjoying about it anymore? It's just not the same as it as like it used to be. Like in the beginning. It's going back. It's, I think this will be probably my last like week or so with it. Yeah. 100%. Same with mine. Mine is, is, is struggling a little bit, but we're doing what we can. So, first off, we're going to start off with brows, of course. This is... We have Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencils in the mm -hmm. shade 4. So, I think the first thing that we have to address is... Dubai yeah on the holiday as you guys can see from the vlog we really enjoyed ourselves we had a great time I would say it was definitely a movie yes 100%. it was it was I think in the beginning when we first got there we were just told you guys came at the wrong time yes and I think we've learned that as well these are things we wish we knew before we went do not go in June July August even September the peak times is actually between like October to like February yes. that's when you should be going or like Easter time like April time like those are the best times not only for like how active it is but also for heat purposes like we were in 40 degree heat which just sometimes made it not as enjoyable because it was literally so hot yeah you couldn't function and i think a lot more things would be open a lot more people around yeah i think we would have seen we saw people like we saw yeah. young people but we think it could have been even better yeah if we went um at the right time but because we still had an amazing time yeah definitely. i think in the beginning when we first got there we went to a couple of things and there wasn't like many people not the crowd that we thought we were going to see like but we then, thought we'd see like yeah. uk people but, but when we started going into the right places that's when we started we were like okay yeah this is the vibe yeah. that's what the first two days we were a bit worried and yeah. then we really got into it and that's when you know really living the life yeah a quick question i want to ask you yes. would you um advise doing a direct flight or doing a stopover do the direct do you think i mean the, we went to qatar from qatar to dubai it was like 30 minute plane ride yeah it, so was. it wasn't even that big of a deal and we got there at the same time we would have if we got a direct flight. flight i mean people in t on tiktok were calling us brokies <laughs> for doing that but <laughs> we got there it was actually saving a bit of money and we got there at, at the, the same, exact same, same time, time as we, we would if we was direct obviously in the future i probably would go direct just for just for comfortability of not yeah, having to like get, get off, off a plane and then yeah, get on another. And yeah, Emirates. We'll do Emirates. Yeah, but I think Qatar Airways was lovely. It was lovely. I think a big do or don't for us has to be the hotel. So we stayed on the Palm. I would definitely recommend staying, staying on, on the palm. palm. Or people say JVC. Yeah. Is it called JVC? The J Jumurai Village Circle? Yeah. I don't know what it stands for, but JVC. Apparently stay in there as well. Um, The Palm is good. It's close to like lots of places. Mm -hmm. Only thing is that... the we put in the description of our Dubai vlog that we wouldn't recommend staying in that particular hotel. I think, to be honest, when you go to Dubai, it's not even... Because you want to be outside, you want to be yeah. seeing Dubai, the hotel doesn't actually really matter. But because we like to have, like, hotel entertainment, we like yes. to also have that place so we can... You know, if we want a chill morning, we can be in the hotel. We wanted to run away from the hotel. Yes. <laughs> Especially when it came to, like, dinner Evenings. and breakfast times. Like, we paid half board. You think... Or we'd get our money's worth, but because the hotel was, the food was average, and I mean it was silent. Like we were like, where is everyone? Like, have we come to the wrong place for dinner? But like we were sometimes the only people in the dinner hall. Yeah, which is like shocking. Normally it's like booming, but I think stay on the palm, but maybe don't stay at the hotel that we stayed yeah. at. It wasn't that bad for us because we were outside, outside a lot. lot. Yeah, so it didn't really matter. We were just there to eat, sleep and that's it and obviously the clean i think the cleaning stuff were really nice like yeah it was good like the hotel wasn't horrible it's just we could have had better mm. some families stayed there the entire time i would have suffered yes and we literally there'll be times where we're like oh guys we have free dinner downstairs let's we would be like no let's get a takeout because we actually feel depressed going down yeah. there <laughs> yeah. so like the radisson beach resort it was okay but that's our thoughts on it I would say another do is to pack way more outfits than mm. you think you need. Because for some reason in Dubai, things are so spontaneous. You'll just end up going somewhere, somewhere yeah. or being invited somewhere and you don't have enough outfits. So just definitely 
pack a range of outfits, mm-hmm. daytime, dinner time, whatever it is. Clubbing experiences. Ooh. Basically, when you go to Dubai, you need to network. Yes. You need to like talk to, with people because that's how you get invited to certain things. I think especially if you're a girl, to be able to go to things on the free, free you need to talk to people. Be on tables for the free, you just need to talk to people. Yeah. Otherwise, you would have been standing at the bar like lemons. Yeah, if, standing at the bar, you don't have anywhere to like sit, sit. and you're in your heels yeah. all night. You have to just try and network or just you know. Like I think some of the women like that didn't enjoy it was because they had to stay by a bar, and it's bad that that's that you can't enjoy yourself. Unless you have a table. table. It's bad that it's that way, but, you know, it's just the way it is. Yeah. And, like, obviously, everywhere you go, just be... I'd rather be overdressed than underdressed. Yes. Everywhere you go, just do that. Dress up. I would say our favourite clubs that we went to were... Mm. I some, think... people, some people have mixed reviews about Club Blue. I think the time that we went, because we were with the right people, honestly, yeah. any club or any experience is always okay when you're with the right people. people. Definitely. So we enjoyed Club Blue the first time round. Yeah. The second time we didn't because no, of we certain people. people. Yeah. How else did we go? We went, I think... One, one Oak... oak. One oak one was oak the best was one. was amazing. But then also because of... I think there's just the vibe it's in there. It's called the people we were with and the vibe yeah. and everything. One oak. Club Lecky was okay. Like, we said it was a bit of you just stand and shake your hips. <laughs> um, Some people really like it. But yeah. for us, I was expecting to see, like, dance battle. Like, it's an mm. Afrobeats club. It just... It was okay. People were just table bandits. People just digging yeah. to the table. Went to the Avenue. That was okay. That's where we saw Fredo and... Fredo oh, was at that oh, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Avenue was okay. In the beginning, it was quite, like, dead. It kind of picked up, though, later, yeah. like... Once we one. moved... Yeah, tables. <laughs> moved tables. Restaurant-wise, Asia Asia, really good. We didn't even really... What else did, where else did we eat? That was the only restaurant we went to. Seriously? We ate in the hotel, like, at the little cafe. Mm-hmm. Or, like, we ended up just wanting to eat other foods that we hadn't, like, we don't have in the UK. Oh, so we went to the mall and stuff? Yeah, we went to the mall. Mm-hmm. Like, we'd eat more, like, like that. Overall, we definitely go back. Yes. I think in a different time, maybe for our birthday, maybe, like, five days, not as long. Yeah. It would be really fun. Like, we know kind of where to go with good people. Yeah. It would definitely be a good experience. Yes. So we'll definitely go back. In, in terms of, like, job-wise, we have the crystals coming back. Oh, my gosh, we do. So I think in, like, ten days, we're having our re-audition, which I'm so nervous about. It's just going to be It's gonna be so weird to see other girls in the room. Almost fighting for the way your... you fought. Right! Like, the way you fought <laughs> in the beginning for your place is the same way other girls you, are going to fight. Exactly. Fighting for it. Yeah. And I think, obviously, with the whole DCC Netflix documentary coming out, I think there's going to be way more people. 100%. And I think because of and our social people, media as well. Maybe. This year. Yeah. And there's people that we know that are also coming, which is weird. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? It's been, like, kind of a thing that we've had and, like, we haven't... No one in our world has experienced... It's, like, a different world for us. So to yeah. see people that we know, there is going to be weird. Yeah. Yes. Job-wise, Jessica, go on. What's happening in my job-wise? So I came back from Dubai and literally the next day I went to work. <laughs> it was so weird. Like, it's been so, like, hectic, like, going straight back into things. Mm-hmm. But it's been all right. I've still been really enjoying it. I do sometimes think, like, when will be my time to, like, move on? A lot, of pe- a lot of people are leaving, a lot is changing, like, rapidly anyway. But I do kind of think about, like, when would I start thinking about moving on, moving on to different things, moving on to aspects that I feel like are more suited towards me, mm-hmm. maybe. Another life update. If you guys follow us on TikTok, you guys would have seen that me and Jessica have been dating. Oh this gosh. is a big life update. Why are we dating? I don't know. You know what's so weird as well? Oh, my gosh. In my head, I never thought I would even mention to my parents that I'm dating someone. Or I'm going on dates. So to be able to, like, it got to a point where I was like, if I'm going to keep seeing this person, I need to tell my father what, like, where I'm going. You know what's so funny? Because if I want to see him more, I need to say. You know what's so funny? We would tell our mother... Outright, we ought to, uh, but our father, father? I, not I just because I don't feel like I can tell him, I just don't want to. I, I just for him, he won't understand. <laughs> it's not for something that he probably doesn't want to hear, so I just want to save him from it. I was, I was talking with Bobby, yeah. and Bobby was like, Bobby and Daddy were both there, and yeah. if they were like, Oh, Daddy was like, Oh, Jessica's gone out. I said, Yeah, and then Mom said, Yeah, she's gone on a date, she's gone oh. on a date, she's gone on a date. <laughs> she said like three times, and I said, you are something else. She was trying to make it obvious. She did, yes. I told him. She said, I told him. Did you? Yeah, and he <laughs> asked, that was the first time. He was kind of, he was taking a nap and he started waking up from his nap and he asked me, oh, what does he do for work? He said, what does he do for work? I said, he works in finance. He said, okay. <laughs> and then, like, that was okay for him. Like, he worked in finance. I'm looking for a man in finance. finance. Six five, five blue eyes. eyes. So that was nice. That it was funny in that moment. That was the first time he actually asked me about him because it's been like a couple times. Like I'm just deep dating is so like I think depending on the person you are, like you have to be so vulnerable. Yes. I don't know. I think for me, I'm a massive overthinker. Mm-hmm. So I think sometimes I need to like take things for how 
for they how are. they are. Don't jump the, the gun. gun. Like, I jump the gun and I think the worst automatically. And then self sabotage. No, you need to yeah. take it as it is. Yeah. I think I just get a bit more. Because why are you bringing facts that aren't actually there? Like I know, but actual- I think I just think about like what if someone like does something, I think, oh, it means this. And I need to not do that because then I'm just going to sabotage and I just need to let things be what they're exactly. going to be. It's just That's hard. my powder puff. Oh, sorry. Can I please borrow it? No. I've lost mine. Please. No. Please. Just what do you mean you've lost yours? I can't find it. Like, I haven't found it. Please. So have you been using my No, I've been days? using my, my, pow- my thingy. I think you're going to have to then. Please. Yeah, so I just think it's been fun, but it's also very scary, very nerve-wracking. Go over to our TikTok and we did a whole get ready with me on TikTok where mm. we were both going on first dates on the same day. Yes. For me, I went on that date nothing came of it that's um, okay though i would basically stood up oh i would have liked to see where where things could have gone because i liked the fact that he was african okay that he was off i was like okay yes we're keeping the bloodline <laughs> <laughs> i'd like dark-skinned children hopefully yes that's what i would that my dream i would like some dark-skinned children i would like a little daughter that I looks like, like me 100 percent guys stay tuned on tiktok where we give you some more updates about what's going on mm. in the i don't know life. if i'll address the dating life anymore because right. i do believe private life is a happy life but you can be private but not secret but sometimes you yeah i get that but sometimes i don't want to tell all the tea like yeah. i don't want to tell like i want to want to keep things for yourself about where you're going especially because like, he's watching <laughs> yeah he's he's watching on top of it heesse watching jesse's been watching love island mm-hmm. if her the guy that she was seeing and wanted to moving get moving on to someone else or wanted to couple know up, I would be flipping tables. Yeah. She I just realised I cannot go on that show. Because you you'd be so to... annoyed that you start flipping tables. Like, you can't handle it. I can't handle it. <laughs> That's a shame. I can't handle it. I also think we'd be really funny on there together. Honestly. Honestly. You'd just be flipping tables. Mm. I would literally be... <sighs> yeah. I would be breaking the fourth wall looking at the camera like, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Like, help me out. You want to get to know her? No. Yeah. Sorry. See, we also think you'll know you're on camera, so I'll act right. Don't worry. Okay, we'll go. <laughs> but I also think I would love. We were saying we'd love me, Jesse, and Kyrie. If the three of us were on Love Island all together, At the same time, do you know how fun that would be? It would be. It would incredible. be the best season of Love Island. The, our energy as the three of us. You guys love the vlogs. So imagine that national TV every night. You guys would love it. Oh, look who's calling me, Miss Kyra. Kyra say, yeah, she just called me too. Okay, guys, next we have some new bronzers. This is the Juvia's Placed Bronzed Duo duo in the shade Dark. So this is it, just in case you guys want to shop. The Makeup Revolution Glow Bronzers, they were discontinued. Yes. So it's nice to have something that works for us, for our dark skin. <laughs> uh, also, guys, on TikTok, we did a story time of how we were denied entry into Club Lecky in Dubai yes. because they thought we forged our passports. So go over to TikTok and watch that story time. People keep saying that they love the way we tell stories. I think when we, when Jesse and I are telling a story, we know how to deliver it. And we're not even, like, planning what we're saying. We're literally just talking, like, the two of us. And people think that, like, someone commented saying that they think that we're forcing the way we finish off each other's, each other's sentence. Really? And when do we ever do that? We don't even like the fact that we do that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Someone that we're said, actually saying we're said, planning it. Yeah, someone said it's not natural. They're actively forcing trying to do it. No! I know what you're going, going to, to say. say. We have the same brain. We know almost. the same... We I know the story. Exactly. So, of course, I'm going to know what to and say. And I know what kind of expressions and kind of thing. I know say. how you talk. talk we, so, yeah. Yeah. That's funny. So, another topic I want to talk about is Love Island. Obviously, just because I'm watching it deeply. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments. So, obviously... We're in the final week now. So Uma was with Will. We all know that. He embarrassed her massively at Casa Amor. Mm-hmm. They came back a few days later. You know, they're rekindling. Yes. He gets dumped. She says, I'm sorry, but I'm leaving. And like, says, I'm leaving. What do you guys think? Should she have gone? Should she have stayed? At first, I said, no. No. I said, Uma. But then I, it's like, I also thought, Uma, you're not going to win it with anyone else. I understand. I get that. But in my opinion, you've come on the show. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Mm-hmm. This man embarrassed you in Casa Amor, and I you're know. basically you're ruining your experience for someone who just embarrassed you. I know, but in in the end, it's like she's still gonna have a great career, and it's like who would she have coupled up? She said she wouldn't okay, be that's her, fair. She said she wouldn't be herself in there. So in the end, everything happens for a reason. But I just miss seeing her on my screen because she was Aww. actually really, she was really she's my favorite. She's probably one of my favorite Love Island girls of all yes, time. Yes, yes. Okay, guys, so this is the finished makeup look. This is just a little quick update. Life is okay, guys. Life is, I think <laughs> life is going to start getting busy again. Yeah. Once we're basically working, like, two jobs again each. Yes. The change is, change is coming. Yes. Change is coming. I think the end of the year is going to be fun. Like, our mm. birthday's coming up again. <laughs> again. All this stuff. It's still the end of summer. Mm. We, we're going to definitely, like, we haven't seen Kyra in so long. Like, 
Yes, we have. Since Dubai. That was, what, like, four weeks ago? No, but we haven't actually spent any UK time together. So there's going to be a a couple of, like, going outs together and stuff. Yeah, Kyra's no longer in Portsmouth. She graduated. Yes. So, like, guys, there might not be any more, like, uni Portsmouth Portsmouth vlogs. vlogs. No. But, yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed this little mini life update in Twin Talk episode two. If you guys want us to do any more Twin Talks, make sure you comment that down below. And also what you want us to talk about, write your questions in the comment box below. And we'll definitely address them in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. Get us to 10k subscribers. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.